Superfood Evolution presents The Benefits of Sauerkraut for a Healthy Gut Microbiome Top 3 Reasons to Eat It Sauerkraut is one of the world's oldest fermented foods that first came about as a way to preserve food before other modern-day methods were utilized. It is made via a natural occurring lacto-fermentation process that is prepared without heat or pasteurization techniques. The concept of cabbage fermentation is believed to have initially originated in China, but fermented cabbage was further developed into the sauerkraut we know and love today by those in Central European countries, especially Germany, where it gets its name sauerkraut or sour cabbage. As the name implies, it is essentially made with one key vegetable ingredient, finely shredded or chopped cabbage. This is either green or red cabbage that is fermented with salt in its own brine or juices. Different than East Asian cabbage ferments like kimchi, sauerkraut is commonly spiced with seasonings like caraway, juniper berries, dill seed, garlic, and sometimes fruits like apple, lemon, or cranberry. Sauerkraut has experienced renewed popularity here in the Western US ever since the late 1990s. This is when many health seekers, including ourselves, began making it homemade in gallon glass jars. Today, traditional fermented preparations of raw, unpasteurized sauerkraut are widely available in stores and from online suppliers. Most people enjoy fermented cabbage for its distinctive pickled flavor. But what are the benefits of sauerkraut that make it a health-enhancing food condiment? Here we will discuss the top three reasons you might want to include more of it with your daily meals. Top three benefits of sauerkraut. Number one, provides probiotic nutrients for healthy gut microbiota. In recent years, the study of human gut microbiota has become a topic of extensive study. This is a complex community of microorganisms that exist predominantly within the human gastrointestinal tract. The research initiative called the Human Microbiome Project, established in 2008 and funded by the U.S. National Institutes of Health, has sought out to further provide more comprehensive characterization of the human microbiome and analysis of its role in human health and disease. Although the diversity of the intestinal communities and their functions is still currently being explored, a healthy balance of gut microbiota, also referred to as gut flora or the intestinal microbiome, is recognized to have a huge influence on our human physiology and overall long-term well-being. The name brain-gut microbiome axis is in fact often used to describe the important role that gut flora have in the biochemical signaling that occurs between the GI tract and the central nervous system. It is identified that certain factors can throw off the optimal ratio of friendly bacteria to other species or fungal genre like candida, which can tend to overdominate when the body is in a weakened state or health is compromised. Some contributions to these potential imbalances may include poor dietary choices, emotional stress, exposure to chemicals, toxic buildup in the body, in addition to the widespread use of antibiotics. It has been recognized, however, that gut microbiota can be intentionally manipulated through specific diet regimens as well as the intake of probiotic-rich food sources. In a 2017 article, it was proposed that one's diet is considered a key factor in influencing gut microbiota during the course of one's lifetime. When humans ingest strains of lactic acid bacteria, they can colonize the intestinal tract, grow in number, thwart the overgrowth of less beneficial species, and increase the chances of maintaining and or re-establishing a healthy intestinal microbiome. In a 2018 published review, analyzing sauerkraut fermentation, it was conveyed that certain lab strains have been purported to act as probiotics that contribute to human health and microbiome stability. Sauerkraut Probiotics and Lactic Acid Bacteria The four predominant types of bacteria phyla in the human gut are Firmicutes, Bacteriodetes, actinobacteria, and proteobacteria. 
the lactic acid bacteria come from the phyla Firmicutes. Sauerkraut is made via a lactic acid fermentation, or lactofermentation, a process that occurs when vegetables, like cabbage, are tightly packed, usually with sea salt, into an oxygen-free brine solution and fermented for about 7 days at an ideal temperature ranging from between 67 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. This produces an acidic environment which supports the growth of probiotic lactic acid bacteria, also called lab, yet inhibits the growth of other strains or harmful pathogens. These bacteria are naturally present on the raw cabbage leaves, as well as other vegetables, but when chopped and packed within the salty brine liquid, they become a substrate or food for these beneficial microbes and the medium upon which they can proliferate. During fermentation, the natural sugars in the leaves are converted to lactic acid, which consequently produces different anaerobic lab strains in the genre Lactobacillales, including Leuconostoc, Lactobacillus, Lactococcus, and Pediococcus. Within each of these genus classifications are numerous other species. Some common varieties found in sauerkraut may include Lactobacillus brevis, Lactobacillus acidophilus, Lactobacillus plantarum, Pediococcus acetolactici, and Leuconostoc mesenteroids. Lactic acid bacteria in fluctuating proportions are produced at various stages of the fermentation process and supply different taste and textural qualities. In some research, it was also reported that salt concentration and atmospheric temperature during fermentation can also affect amounts and types of lab strains present in the end result. About probiotic supplementation and sauerkraut. There are probiotic supplements, which often include labs as well as bifidobacterium, that can be taken to potentially help repopulate the gut microbiome. However, Food-based probiotic-rich sources are often believed to be more effective than isolated laboratory-derived forms that may not survive the acidic conditions of the stomach. Many holistic health practitioners, in fact, encourage taking probiotic supplements with foods like sauerkraut, as this method is believed to offer greater nutritional uptake. In addition, these probiotic powders can also be used to inoculate homemade sauerkraut to ensure microbial diversity. Number 2. Benefits of Sauerkraut to help improve digestion Live, raw sauerkrauts are also known for their high amount of enzyme activity. These enzymes like protease, lipase, and amylase are produced by the transformative actions of lactic acid bacteria. Enzymes in a jar of cultured sauerkraut are what help to break down the vegetable, in this case cabbage, and basically pre-digest it. These food enzymes are health-promoting substances and are abundant in fermented sauerkrauts that have not been pasteurized. Consuming small amounts as a side dish or condiment with meals is known to improve the digestion of heavier cooked foods and animal-based proteins, fats, as well as starchy foods like grains, pasta, and potatoes. If you are new to cultured vegetables, it is best to start with smaller amounts, around a tablespoon, and slowly increase quantity over time. Usually not more than one quarter to one half a cup is consumed at one serving. If you happen to overdo it, you will most likely experience bloating and some flatulence. Sauerkraut can also help to promote bowel regularity and is viewed as a healthy food choice for ketogenic diets or weight loss protocols. Please visit our website link above for more about the benefits of sauerkraut as a preventative approach to digestive orders like IBS, colitis, and leaky gut. Number 3. Benefits of Sauerkraut for Immune Support One of the first things someone of German or Austrian descent may tell you, besides the fact that their grandparents still make traditional style sauerkraut, is that it is an age-old remedy for boosting the immune system. One of the reasons for this is because fermented cabbage is known for its high amount of vitamin C content. Sauerkraut is of course famous for its historical use on long sea voyages to prevent scurvy. For example, Dutch immigrants to America were known to carry packed barrels of sauerkraut in the fore cabins of sailing vessels. 
This nutrient is believed to have an antioxidative influence and is an essential component needed for many bodily processes, as well as plays a critical role in immune cell responses and regulation. Supplementing the diet with small amounts of sauerkraut can be a great way to increase daily vitamin C uptake. The immune system and the gut-associated lymphoid tissue. The colon, with its diverse community of microbes, works together with the lymphatic system and plays an important role in human immune function. The gut, or intestinal tract, achieves this in conjunction with a massive tissue that makes immune cells. This is called the gut-associated lymphoid tissue and is the largest mass of lymphoid tissue in the body. Therefore, keeping the gut flora healthy and strong can also encourage the overall health of the immune system and its defense against pathogens. About Eli Metchnikoff, father of natural immunity. The concept of fortifying the diet with probiotic-rich foods and drinks was first proposed by Eli Metchnikoff, deemed the father of natural immunity and 1908 Nobel Prize recipient for his scientific work which included the discovery of white blood cells called macrophages. In his book, The Prolongation of Life, he promoted the theory that aging is caused by toxic bacteria in the intestinal tract and that the dietary use of foods rich in lactic acid bacteria could replace these microbes and potentially prolong one's lifespan. Raw sauerkraut versus pasteurized sauerkraut. Again, it is important to differentiate between raw, unpasteurized commercial sauerkraut and pasteurized versions, which are completely void of both probiotics and enzyme content. Sauerkraut is commonly sold for its pickled savory taste, not necessarily for its nutrient content. Even one German sauerkraut company who apparently makes traditional style kraut told us via email communications that they pasteurized their product, though they did not say this on the label. In addition, some popular brands like Bubby's Sauerkraut are neither raw nor pasteurized. Their sauerkraut is heated in a steam bath bottle wash after the product has been sealed in the jar, and according to their test results, only decreases cultures by 10%, but obviously enzyme activity would also be affected. For the highest quality sauerkraut, when purchasing store-bought products, look for the words raw, live, active, and or contains enzymes or probiotics. Typically, these varieties are found refrigerated and not on store shelves. Homemade sauerkraut can be another option and is also a great way to tailor ingredients to your specific health objectives. For example, low salt or no salt variations are also possible, as well as non-cruciferous vegetable varieties. For more on making homemade sauerkraut and how to use it, visit our website links above or the description box below this video. Precautions. It is important to consult with a healthcare professional before adding sauerkraut to your diet if you have IBS, leaky gut, or other digestive issues. Seek the advice of a medical physician before adding fermented foods to your diet if you have mold allergies, are pregnant, nursing, taking prescribed medications, or have a serious health condition. Thanks for watching! For top quality sauerkraut making supplies, as well as additional in depth info, be sure and check out the links in the description box below this video. Please like, share, and or give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And be sure and check out these other informational videos.